hello everyone today in this video we are going to discuss about articles following a curve and its speed so for that i'm adding a helix curve and i will make some adjustment on it of a static angle and end angle on this curve now you can see we have made a helix 3d curve uh, 3d curve now what we can do is we are going to add a force field on it and the force field will be curve sorry this curve so the dash lines are the end point of force field of this curve and without dash line circle is the starting point of this of the force field of this curve so we always need to add our main object from which we are going to emit the particle so I'm adding a sphere on it like this because this will be the emitter and I'm adding particles on it and the particles will follow this direction to the end point of this curve till the dash circle line now you can see our particles is following a curve but the thing is we need to control the speed of these particles so what we're going to do is we will increase the lifetime lifetime means the path that particles are traveling from a starting point of force field of this curve to the end point of this force field of this curve so the time taken by a particle from one end to another end is the 100 frames now you can see the particles is you can see that till 100 frame it it is near to the uh, end point of this force field so this is how you can control the speed of your particles you can see again if i use 200 then these particles will reach the end point till it hit the 200 frames like this you can see this is how you can control the speed of your particles thanks for watching i'll upload some more videos like this subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thanks for watching